Alrighty folks, welcome back to an Architect's Adventure. How are people doing? What did we do last time? We went up there. Oh, we got to some two stars and I ran away from them and went to this area instead. Or part of this area. Should I continue with this area? Let's continue with this area, I think. Although we should go and do those two stars at some point. Transmission of force. Interesting. So the, probably the force from this is going to lift that. Oh, yeah, okay. That's totally what it's going to be, right? Make an L shape. Ooh, not just that. Make an L shape to attach to that, and somehow, so it needs to get lifted up. But there needs to be something on this, but not yet. Hold on. Wait. What? Uh. So, this kind of shape, well, okay. Yeah, so see how the next one's relevant. How do I get everything in position? Not that. What we want. That. And why is that a problem? That's a problem because I can't put that there without going down. And I can't put it there first. Then this will lift up already. Huh. Huh. So if I were to push that... If that's getting pushed onto there without me being down there, then... I'm pushing it from up here. Oh wait, I'm being silly, aren't I? I could be doing a different shape. Yes, interesting, cool. Um, I think I want that there. A little L shape. Uh, let's do this way. This way. Uh, a slightly bigger L shape than that. Uh, let's just shift that up there. Put that there. Do that. Oh no, still not quite, but okay, slightly different L shape. <laughs> Slightly different L shape. Um, this L shape. Why can't oh, because it got attached. Like that. Oh no, it still doesn't work, it's gonna get attached, of course. So, okay. Um, so a too long piece, which is gonna go there to keep fixing my mistake each time. Then a three long piece which is going to go there, and then this. There we go. <laughs> that was neat. That was a hurdle at every step. Uh, freight elevator, okay. So I can see, yeah, it's about lifting a thing up there. And so why is that a challenge? Why is it not like build just like, just like make a little? L shape. Oh, we only have four here. Oh, I've got, to, I've got to get this away from the wall as well, which I could do by pushing like this down or something. Oh, that sticks, of course. Uh, so pushing the other thing down, I guess. But like, I obviously need a purpose for that, which I don't currently have. Um, Hold on. So if I had done that, let's just imagine I'd done that. I'd push that there, it would go up, and I'd be... Oh, I wouldn't be done because there's a thing that needs to go there. I could lift something up. Got it. So... What am I lifting up? Well, not you, because you'd stick to the thing that's being lifted. So the, the, the last block, I guess. Okay, so then the next question is... How do I... In fact, what happens if I push you onto that? I don't think I can get it away from the wall, though, can I? No. I mean, I can get it away from the wall with a block on top. Like, what do you grow beneath you? Just a normal block, yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, what do we 
we say. So there's going to have to be a block that gets lifted up and I can push it north to go into that gap there, right? Yeah, it's only a single drop down. So that would be like an L shape. With another block on top of it. And how do I keep that block on top? By, put, by using this. So we did this, put that there. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, we use this to push it away more, of course. There we go. That's it. Neat. Cool. Okay, maybe we should go over and do those. Nope, oh, not this one. I mean, we should go back to that one at some point, but not now. Okay, so two stars. Save. Oh, oh, okay. Things drop. That drops two over there. This one drops one. But I can reset them back, but then they drop immediately. So, there's, but there's nothing I could do in the first turn. So yeah, they're dropping. Okay. What? So there's no pulling that out of there. That's definitely locked in. No pluses here. We haven't learned about pluses yet. Okay. I'm clearly not walking up this way. Am I somehow... Um, like, I could be making a tall thing. That, like, somehow... I mean, let's just make this tall thing. So what's the effect of this? The, the shaded block will appear on top, right? Yes. So they can get through. Oh dear. Okay. Somehow I've got to walk across that as well. But it falls immediately as soon as this happens. So it's not just a case of pressing that and then walking across somehow, unless I can like wedge it up somehow. Save. But yeah, maybe I am. Do I, maybe I do have to save it somehow. I bring a thing down here, put it here, hit this, it'll be attached to that thing. But this will have reset as well. With all sorts of weird shapes. So I've got to be able to go past this and have locked that into position. So that's two things. Although, so that's high up. I don't think... Wait, no, that's the same height as... Yeah, it's falling further because there's no ground below. It's falling into the water. So the same height. I've got to basically attach the two things. Seemingly. Which might be doable. Because I also, like, I, it's, I don't have to do the thing that I did where I, like, I can do that, do this, and then move this somewhere. But again, as soon as I reset, I mean, that's not good enough, but as soon as I reset, um, I mean, that's not the right height, but that bit's going to go back. So it's like I need to catch both. I need to catch both somehow. Can I, like, put something on top of here and have it stay after a reset? No. Definitely not. This shape's gonna have to be like this, isn't it? I'm sure that'll stick. I guess I can put... Maybe I can just wedge this one under this somehow. I mean, that's not going to work, it's just going to keep falling, but was there an opportunity to do that? How did I do it before? I... Ah, maybe that's the thing then. Maybe what I do is I make that shape that I just made, which was... Uh, no. Let's move this out of the way. That. That. And then maybe I first use this to grab this. this underneath then somehow I'm going to do that and then reset yes then use this to grab that 
What do we have? Oh, that can push there. Oh yeah, of course it can, because there's a cap there, okay. Cool. And we're done. Yay! Neat. Okay, another two star. Mix. I can see what that might imply. Into three and three. Uh, do we need to interleave them for some reason? So there's a restart thing. So I don't want any of the shaded ones to be on the other side of the restart thing. Or if the restart thing's pressed, that could be fine. I don't know. Let's, let's make a mix. So I can, I, obviously I can end up over there. But as soon as I reset. I could fall in the water here, couldn't I? Easily. Oh no, I'm in the water. Fortunately, it's very shallow. It's just um, extremely viscous and I can't move anywhere. <laughs> okay. But if I were pushing, if I were pushing three together, our problems. If I were pushing two stuff, like it doesn't matter. I guess I'm thinking like what if some of these were some of these instead. Uh, sure, what if? I'm gonna walk over that restart thing and then continue three more spaces. So there's gonna to have to be three more blocks there, but I could be pushing them in as I go. Rather than. Uh, uh, maybe. This is hard to visualize. I just have to do a few things and see what happens. So if I were to do this, and then I were to do I don't know, like this, that's gonna reset that, that's gonna fall. And then I'll never be able to take these across. So how do I get something onto that? Well it has to be a, a normal one, not a resettable one, right? Isn't that the whole thing then? It's just get Can I get one of these onto that button and still be fine? Probably. Yes, I, in fact, can I do it just by doing this? And then, no, because I'm gonna fall in the water as I did before. But what if I had done uh, this? Uh, not that. Yep, like that. Then, walk over. Ooh, I'm gonna fall in again. I could push with two or three, three. I would need another one so I'm not up with a shaded one. Okay, the next one's gonna stick though. Okay, what if we'd done that in the middle? Okay, now you sank there, but the next one will stick still. Okay, um. Okay, so what if then we did this and let's move you over. This and this now. And then I'm gonna try and get one of these on there. Right now, if I were to do that, I would be safe except for the fact I then would fall. So we're gonna to have to use these. But they're gonna reset back here anyway, so that's fine. Then one of these can go there. This might be done. I think this is done. Then we attach these two together. We're not going to press the thing. And we're done. Yay! Neat. It was nice that letting go to experimentation there helped me get the answer. 
because I, like, I couldn't visualize it. I had to just try a few options and see what the pros and cons were of my different attempts. I guess we're going to try this as well then. Forklift. Hmm. Forklift, but we don't have the plus thing, so we're not forklifting in that sense. What sense are we forklifting? How high up are you? You're two. And then those stairs are like, okay, not aligned, so we need like a two bridge. I mean, that thing over there is probably our two bridge. Wait, so what's the issue with just going across here, taking this with us, grab it? Oh. Oh. Okay. Are we doing a thing where we... That's not doable. Like, get somehow get that over. Then reset and it would be on the other side. If we could cross with this, that we would be done. And we have to cross with that, do we? Do we actually have to cross with that? Yes, like what else would this be for? Okay, so let's get this to the other side, we'd have to push it over on something, but then it's gonna be stuck. I'm sure I can reset that and that'll go down there. But what use is that? Uh, I guess I can lift these up on top of this. It's kind of interesting. I can now reach further with this. But where were? We? <laughs> huh. Well, this is an interesting one. Forklift. Oh gosh. I just think I can push that along and then something here and then walk over. <laughs> but then that's there. Am I definitely going to be putting the pillar under here and then dragging this out and putting it there? Feels like it. But I'm not sure it's a definite. I could be like take, somehow taking like a bunch of these over attached to this. But either way, it requires getting that pillar over to the other side. How? How, how, how? How can it be on one of these cells? What's the prerequisite for that? One of these cells. Well, it needs to have moved from an adjacent cell. How can it do that without having been stuck on something? And then if I reset, it's just going to fall in the water. The stuff can be balanced off my head, but I can't push it in that situation. 
Well, except for the fact I can if there's a pillar there to push on. But, 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 I want to get the pillar over there, so if I'm pushing on the pillar, I'd have to be over the water, but that's not going to be a thing. But I suppose I can walk, like with a three bridge, I can walk that way, if I could somehow take this across this way? How's that ever going to work? It's never going to work. Huh. How does the resetting do anything? Well, it can disconnect from you again, but then you're going to fall in the water. Forklift. Why forklift? This will be four long, which is not enough to reach over and grab those blocks or something like that. Struggling to see how to even begin with this one. Just taking these over doesn't help. Well, but I can't. I can't take these over like this because then they're going to be attached to that. And then that's gonna fall. Huh? This is obviously impossible. Any interesting interaction between the fact that that's there, I can put them on my head. It's not that interesting. You can hit that, that's not that interesting. Do that, you end up there. The best thing we do is like lift these up one, either on my head or on the thingy. We have four. We have four total. We can't lift anything. Well, it's called fork lift, but we don't have a lift mechanism. We do not have a lift mechanism. We do not have a way of carrying this over to the other side. Like I can shift it like here, that's as far as it will go. But then it's going to... Like if I reset anything it's going to fall, if I do that it's going to fall. Like this could be balanced on top of... This somehow... Underneath? Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay. So don't make it three long. Make it too long. How do I get this away then? That's it. So don't put that in yet. Uh, do this first. Drag this away. Uh, not that way. Oh, uh, push this in. Now, I guess you can be on that row. Oh, we can do it like this. But then do this. Then do... Can I get these around each other now? No. Push this over here. Oh, push that like that. Now do this. 
Push this. Now that's over there. And all I care about is that the thing is over there. They can reset this. So they can do this. Walk across. I'll do that. And I'll put that there. And we're done. Yay! <laughs> Okay, it was like, I had the thing of, do I focus on what seems to be the problem it's posing to me? The fact that I need to, I need that pillar to be on the other side, or am I completely on the wrong lines? Uh, in that case, I was glad to have stuck with what I thought was the, the problem. Um, but that can, that can backfire if it turns out I'm just like oh, completely on the wrong lines for ages and ages. And I realize, oh, if I just imagined this other ending, I could have done that quickly. Uh, okay, that's that entire area done, except for the trophy. We'll figure that out later, I think. Um, we're leaving you for now. Oh, there's also the route to the north. Mm, I kind of want to stick with this direction. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Sorry, two star puzzle over there. What's over this way? Is it a zero star? I think it might be a zero star. That uh, is slightly more appealing right now. Um, however, how do I... This is just gonna... Oh, I gotta make like a double bridge. How far does this have to go? Okay, so it's that distance. Yeah, I gotta use every single block here. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Double bridge. That is kind of concerning. Ooh, another block. Conveyor belts. Something. Doing conveyor confusion. Smuggling. Oh, yeah, we are totally doing conveyor confusion. Does this push me back? It does. Yeah, okay, cool. It's exactly the mechanics of conveyor confusion, at least currently. Uh, so, what's my goal? My goal is to get there. I think I see. I think I see. Uh, I've got to take them one at a time, I think. We're gonna make an L shape by putting these here, and we're gonna attach across the thing. But because because they'll be locked together, we won't be able to push back, and I'll be able to push it that way. Yeah, there we go. Push it there. Neat. Cool. New mechanic. Reach out. Okay, so double here, and you. Ooh. So the ending's over there. And there's one over here? I guess that's to shuffle them that direction. So four. You do that. So like, we probably want to bridge that gap. So if this were extended by one more, well, no, it would, it would stay up here. Ah. So extended by two more, and we can walk like that. Yeah, that's probably what we're doing. Also, we have to stick to the ends of these? That can't be true. There's the wall here. So no, we're making a different shape, aren't we? Making a different weird shape. Okay, if I were going to reach out... Well, we have problems already, don't we? Because I can't get to the top of this. So three could reach that, but not, so yeah, no, this could come back, uh, kind of, if we did this. Oh gosh, that was, the animation was glitchy because I think I skipped an animation. Yeah, if I do the animation skipping thing, it looks a bit weird. Oh gosh, now we're stuck in the infinite loop. So then we're probably, I think we are just doing this. I think I've basically got this. We reach out here, that's gonna float. I can't move it left. Oh no, hold on, not like that, like this. I don't know how this works out at the end. Although, actually I can see how this works out at the end. Oh, oh, not good like that. But I also don't want to cause the infinite loop, which that will do. There we go, like that. Bring it back, back up again. And you're gonna hit that. And then I push you one more, you fall down. Cool. Neat. Uh, one more, let's do it. Pushed away. Oh, There's a door. There's a thing. <laughs> I'm in the water. Okay, so well, I wouldn't mind that if 
it were a certain shape. But then I can't take multiple separate things to the door. Understood. Understood. But we could make a shape that is... Hold on. Da, da, da. An L shape. Like this. Let's slide that way. Oh. Hmm, no. No. There's some shape that I can do. Hold on. So it's going to slide that way. But I need to, be able to keep pushing it until it connects. A, like a different L shape, like this. Um, no. But not far off. I mean, quite far off. One away. If we go over that way, it's not going to work. Um, I can hold you down, but no, there's, there's some shape to make. There is some shape to make. It's going to slide that way. But that necessarily can't be a thing here because. I would have had to have pushed that over the arrow. So therefore that space is not going to be filled after it gets slid across. Therefore it's going to have to take that route, but it can't take that route. No, there's something clever to do. What's the clever thing? What is the clever thing? Is there some way to stop it from pushing? Could I stop it from sliding something off to the side? How? Uh, by me being in the way? Ah, is that the thing? How does that work? Do I block it? It doesn't give me an explanation for another bit here, but... No, it just does that. <laughs> okay. Is there anything that could stop it from moving? The door, probably, but the door is far away. Uh, push, 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 I'm gonna push. Push. And then, and then for everything to be fine. <laughs> it's, whatever's there is gonna slide. Well, unless, how does it work in terms of like, If there had been, no, like I'm thinking about the whole thing where like, oh, if it's not released, well, if it's not, well, we can see that it continues sliding just by having two like this, it still slides afterwards. Yeah, it's not like the, the other things where if it's not released, it doesn't activate again, that will keep sliding. So since that's gonna keep sliding, and I can only push something up this column I'm going to be pushing something onto that. So it's going to go that way. But somehow that's going to be fine. Somehow that's going to be fine. It can't just be a straight up thing. It could be an L shape. It's like this L shape. Um, It's there. Oh, which is it? <laughs> I was totally forgetting that I could just walk across the conveyor belt myself. Okay, that's that's it. There we go. Please. <laughs> There's some kind of L shape that I needed. Oh, I'm interested in this uh, trophy. I assume. Oh no, no level. Okay, cool. Like that. That sounds. That looks fun. Uh, Neat. All right. Uh, next time we'll continue doing some conveyor belt stuff. I always love conveyor belts in games. They're always great. Uh, see you next time, and we'll solve these, maybe. Goodbye.